so much for this day and the blessings that you've given us. We ask the Lord to continue to pour your blessings out upon us. Watch over us, care for us, protect us. In Christ's name we ask. Amen. Amen. Okay, uh, work session tonight. We have no agenda items, so we're going to go ahead and move on into the council portion of the meeting. And uh, I'll call on uh, Councilman Gant for prayer and Councilman Gill for the pledge. Let us pray. Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We ask you to, to lead and guide us. Make us remember that we're public service and we'll thank challenges and make them into opportunities. We also ask you to be with the people, all the flooding and the people in Louisiana that are away from home and the tragic accident on the airplane and the crash here in the state of Alabama, Mississippi. Christ's name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic. Discussion items for that work session. Uh, 
I'm, I'm kind of confused because to me, if we voted on something, that an action should have taken place, and that action has not taken place, and I'm asking a question, what is the status of that particular action? That's exactly what I'm asking. Are you saying that's not to be reflected in the minutes? It, no, what is reflected in the minutes is the actual actions taken by the council okay. during the official council meeting. Okay. And that requires a vote, a resolution, an ordinance, something of that sort. And all so that discussion did, stuff get you there. All that did happen. The vote, the resolutions did happen. No action happened. So if I'm asking what is the status of what we voted on, mm -hmm. there's no record of that discussion. No that record of that discussion. There's no action taken on it. If you had asked for a status and then you asked the, the, the council to pass a resolution saying to put a deadline on this action to be taken, or you asked for something affirmatively to be done, then there would be an action taken and it would be reflected in the minutes. And that has happened because when, we, when I first put, brought this whole issue up is the fact that when we voted on the construction of the Martin Luther King complex as well as the sport complex, there should have been a timeline that those actions should have been completed. And I think the contract said 13 months. So that did not happen. So again, I'm addressing that particular issue. So yes, we voted on it. Yes, there was a timeline that was established, but those actions didn't take place. But the actions that you're talking about you voted on were reflected in the minutes where that vote was taken. It would not be reflected in the minutes from the last meeting because no vote was taken. You didn't ask the council to pass a resolution or to take a vote at last meeting on any of those items you brought before the first status conference or uh, status in court. So my point is that the vote has already been taken. Right. The vote yeah, has been taken prior minutes. Okay, but again, the action has not happened. So what is the process when you take a vote, the actions don't happen, and you're asking for the status? That's not reflected in the minutes. <coughs> well, if it was voted up or down, whichever way it was voted. It was voted up. Okay, if it was voted up, then it reflected in those minutes of that particular meeting, whether it was three months ago, three years ago, whatever, it, it was reflected there. So any clarification on any of this uh, on a council agenda for action to be taken, it would reflect again on that particular meeting. And, and you're asking why didn't it show on the August 1st meeting? Correct. Because there's no action taken. <laughs> And that's, and that, Robert's rule says action has to be taken for it to reflect in the minutes. So that's the reason it did not reflect. Okay, I'm, we've had discussion I'm, on the no, no, why, why do you only have to go to the other time. So if I'm trying to get an understanding, if we have taken a vote and action did happen to affirm that vote, and I'm trying to follow what you're saying, the vote was unanimous. So we were supposed to take action on a particular item. Well, was unanimous. No action has happened on that item. Well, part of it hasn't happened. So when I ask for clarity, are you saying that's not going to be reflected in the minutes? No, it's not. So what, what happens? Just, you just ask and you talk about it and you move on. It's part of the discussion. Now, if you're asking the council to vote on something specifically based on that status report, then that would be reflected in the minutes. But the minutes only reflect action. Okay. Uh, okay. I have to have, have a discussion. Is there a motion to approve the minutes? Motion to approve the minutes of the official council meeting on August the 1st as presented. Okay. Thank you for the motion. Do we have a second? Do we have a second? Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Okay. All in favor, let me know what said. Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Aye. Opposed. So those minutes have been approved. No old business, one new business item, and that's except dedication of the drainage easement in the Cove at Quail Run, Plat 1-A, uh, and that's Public Works. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I'm prepared to offer a motion. I spoke with David Robinson earlier this afternoon. I'm prepared to make a motion. Okay, so we have a motion. The motion is to accept the dedication of drainage easement in the code at Quill Run Flat 1A. Okay, that has been before the planning board. Yes, sir, it has been before the planning board. 
Okay, do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and we have a second. Thank you. Any discussion? Uh, exactly where is the easement? Is it just as you go into the right where it used to, where it used to sit there? That's right. Yes, sir. Yeah, I remember. It's that. actually on both sides. <coughs> both sides of the way across it. When you go from the cove to uh, back to the uh, Country Club Drive, and Country Club Drive ends, you start in the cove. It's on both sides. Yeah, there was just water sitting there. And there. I noticed the last time I was doing it. Well, that's the reason we're doing the drainage. The problem is getting up more than that. <coughs> uh, any other discussion? Motion to move on. We have a motion. We have a second. All in favor, let it go and say aye. 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 Anyone aye. vote? Okay, so that has been approved. Boards and committees. Chamber of Commerce. Public comments from our citizens. Yes, ma'am. I, uh, I'd like to honor the elected officials. My name is Wanda Laws, and I'm at 507 Minute Francis Street, Tonka, Alabama. And I'm, my first concern is the ditches that we have there that have standing water. We would like for someone to come and, and uh, <coughs> see what we can do about that. We don't get the mosquito spray anymore. And the paved road. Um, I'd like to get an understanding of what happened when the roads was paved. Only half of the road, a little bit over half of the road were paved, the rest of it were left alone. And that is a, don't look nice. And we got some of them haven't been thirsty in over 20 years. So are we trying to beautify, uh, upgrade our community? Or are we just trying to patch it and make it uh, look like paint? I mean, we're just going to do some and not going to do the other. So that's my concern. Those three things, those ditches that we have not covered, and those mosquitoes that we have running around, we don't get the mosquitoes sprayed on no leaves. I don't see it coming. And why it's just part of the road paved and other parts left alone. Okay, I think we can get with you and show you the schedule on mosquito spraying. Okay. Because they pretty well cover, you know, the entire city. They, they have different schedules. You may not see them when they come through, but mm -hmm. I don't see them when they come down my street, but mm -hmm. I know that they do, they do come. Well, not my neighbor, too. I know I'm gone because I'm yes, um, I work, yes, and uh, I've asked others, and they haven't seen it that don't work. So, yes, sir, I'd like to see the On the paving, I'm going to let uh, Mr. Greer answer that with public works because there was an assessment done on what actually needed work over there. Some of those had, had been paved before, partially paved before, and uh, I've ridden on those since it's been put in, other than the different colors of asphalt, and that will eventually blend in, but other than that, it's a whole lot better than what it was because it fixed a lot of the bad spots that were in there. But, uh, Mr. Green? That, uh, the asphalt and uh, are you two, speaking of Pine Street or Patriola? Oh, uh, uh, Patriola, Pine Street, uh, 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 Millie Francis Street. They went not touch at Millie all. Millie Francis wasn't paid. It's not touched at was all. Millie Francis was paid when, when the renovation was done on the frog level renovation. On the wheel? When the frog level was renovated. How many years ago that been? Approximately 18. There's streets all over town that's older than that that had been paid. Mm -hmm. And what we did, we assessed them. We asked our council people to tell them, tell us what they have in their districts, and we go from there. Um, and uh, the area on South Pine Street, if you'll notice where we stopped and started, that was new pavement when the park was redone in Alabama. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. uh, so that's that's the reason it was it was paid. We didn't need to put payment where there was good pay. Okay, those ditches there. Mm -hmm. and which ditch? You said you was at 507? I'm at 507 and the ditches are all Pine Street though. Then we got open ditches and uh and uh, also uh we have small kids that's you know we put with children. Mm -hmm. And those mosquitoes are horrible when they start getting in the evening time. And uh, trash, I don't let us in. Uh, what we have asked before to try to get them covered, they can't cover those. They just, 
not feasible to cover the small drainage ditches there. They're in every subdivision we have all over town. I mean, uh, you just can't cover them all. Uh, we can uh, try to get a drain because that, yeah, that we, water we can, uh, We can just to work on draining them. But if there's some standing water in certain areas, uh, we will step up our mosquito spray and if it's necessary. We also have a chemical that we come in and, and put in the ditches. Okay. And uh, now you're talking about South Pine when you go down on the right side. On the right side. Or left side. And on the right side, but that between them houses, I don't know their number, but okay. you got one on the right where side. The, where the ditch Stand comes out. Where, right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, and in the back of the left, over there behind that last creek, it's a ditch taller than me. Okay, you're there. talking about the South Pine. Yeah, yeah. It, I get down there now, I can't come out. Uh -huh. And it, it's putting water in that too. Long. But it is eventually going down. But it will uh, hold snakes and all that back there too. So we have no problem with them too. And now, we'll, those we'll, get, we'll get somebody over there to check those uh -huh. and, uh, and to step up some what we call mechanical mosquitoes. Instead of the spray gun, we've got pellets we put in some of the areas. And I, I assure you we'll come over there and do that. Hopefully it's just a block drain and they can get it moving and get it out of your yeah. neighborhood. Okay. I hope that's all it is. Thank you. Matt, can I address something? Yes. I want to make sure that citizens understand. I think Mr. Greer said that the council members gave a list to what streets we were concerned about. So when I made the request, it was to request South of the Street, not parts of the street. So I want to make sure people are clear about that. My request was not to pay parts of the street. Wasn't aware that an assessment was going to be done to only pay parts of the street. So I want to make sure everybody's clear on that. Um, secondly, my really concern is that when you still drive down the streets, there's still cracks on South Park, the other street. So when you look at it and you pay part of it and you leave part of the same street unpaid, from a perception standpoint, that look at it. And then from my understanding, I, I know that the county was partnering with us with that's how we kept costs down, but should have lowered the cost, but if the county partnered with us and it was gonna be it's gonna cost us less for the city, I don't understand why we didn't pay the whole street. That's the reason we did more streets. No, we didn't pay the whole street. That's the reason we did the street that I requested the, street. the street that I requested to be paid was not paid completely. I didn't request Pine Street, I requested South of Pacquiao, which that the entire street is in bad shape. But if the county was partnering with us, it should have cost the city less. But it seems like we got less work. Um, we got what work that they get to us, you know, and they did if it was a, if it was a question about, my job as public works director is to try to serve the citizens and at the same time to be as economical as possible. If we try to start paving all the streets regardless of their condition, uh, we wouldn't have any money in pot in about a month's time. Mr. Beer, respectfully, it seems like the only time we're economical is when it concerns our community. Well, so clearly when we good. asked, when I asked or requested that we pay the street, I would think the street would be paid, not part of the street, because that was not my request. And if that was how it was going to take place, I just would have appreciated someone saying, Councilman Hill, this is all we can do. That's I still have a council meeting, and uh, we can look back, talking about minutes, we can look back and reflect on the minutes. <laughs> and it says, I said, if the minutes have been recorded, that we will pave it on the south end of South Pine, up to the intersection, <laughs> and then we were going past the intersection and paving. Which it. intersection? There's only one intersection on South Pine. I, but I'm referring to South Park. I'm just referring to a Pacquiao. Okay, I explained we're going to pay from the curve in Pacquiao up to the <laughs> intersection at the basketball courts. At the time. What happened? So as you said, yeah. so the curve of Pacquiao was 14. Is that what it was? So Pacquiao is what it starts on north of Pacquiao. So as you cross over 14, that's where. South of Papiola That's correct. So from South of Papiola, from the church to the basketball court has not been paid. That's not what I stated. But that's it's what better. I requested. That, that's what was in the minutes. I, I but, but what I requested is, was not what you're saying. So it's what better. I'm asking is how did it get from one thing to another? 
Yeah, the young I, lady's I question was answered to satisfactory. I think we're into a work session now, arguing back and forth over something. No, we're not arguing. We have a discussion, and Greg, and I, I think the mayor is in charge of this meeting, not you, sir. I, I'm asking him to move this. But I'm having the conversation, so it's not for you to ask about something that's in my in the district that I represent. It's I'm mine sorry. to move this meeting no, along. You, no, no, the mayor's in charge of that, not you, sir. I'm asking him to move that along. Let, let, but I understand. I no, understand. You just get finished with this yeah. comment. I, I respect your question and I respect what you're saying. Uh, and you ask how did it get from one point to another? Because y'all as council voted on No, no. Yes, you did. <laughs> what I request I asked for approval. So we can go to the minutes. So what I requested in the minutes was we, that we pay South of Popular Street. I didn't request to pay part of South of Popular Street. I'm pretty clear on that. Was there a monetary amount put on this council? No. Yes, I believe No, let's go to the, let's get that in the minutes and let's have that at our next council. But that that was not the case. We can do that because that's the only way we knew what the county was going so once once this information is verified, and just for public information also, the only paving we can do now. This was not done with a grant of any kind. When we did a when we did a grant, we did go up the street all the way down, uh, jumped across 212 uh, Elmore Road onto the street that you live on, and all of this was curved and gutted and resurfaced from one end to the other. Southwest now that was done under a grant that was about a million two on that particular project. Now, when you come in doing just basic paving, these funds come out of gasoline uh, sales tax. <coughs> That's the only money we have to draw out of to do resurfacing. So the amount of money that you have in your gasoline tax limits you as to what you can do. So sometimes you don't have a lot of money in that account. So I think this was also taken into consideration. Had we have gone outside of the county and bid this out, we wouldn't have gotten nearly what we got for, for the money. So, Mayor, are you, are you saying the only way we can pay streets is that come out of the gas, all the gasoline funds, we can't take money out of the general fund to pay streets? We don't do it. I well, mean, we that, can't do it? I don't know if we can do it or not. I have to research that and see. But I know that in my years of being here with the city, it has always been drawn from the gasoline sales. Okay, any other public comment? Motion to adjourn. What? You cut one of the citizens off out here standing up talking. I cut one off? She was standing up. Thank you so much. I didn't see. She stood up. Well, the other man over there, so. Thank you. Go ahead, Ron. Back to the street. It don't look nice. If y'all could come up with something and finish that street off, it would be fine. But uh, Millie Francis Street, please put them on the list. They don't, I don't know what happened to that. When he was working down there with the block grant and all, I don't know what, why it didn't go, we didn't do any streets that went across uh, Southwest Main Street. Well, it's the same way, man, when they resurfaced over on the other side, like Tuskegee Street, Dallas Street, they didn't do the streets in between, and that's the reason when you come over, there's such a hole. They can have to come over. So, but I wasn't here to tear the shit out. But we'll certainly look at that. We had good questions. Good journey.